Hello, Yarna Bees. Happy Vagina Day. Yes, I said it. Because <laughs> we all know that Valentine's Day is for us women. Yes, we will take that on. We'll take it on our shoulders because we're good that way. You know. Anyway, I just wanted to hop on real quick. I'm going to bring you in just a little bit because you seem so far away. Um, I just wanted to come on real quick and say Happy Val Day. And to show you a couple cards that I got in the mail. Um, and I, I already opened them because I thought that they may, might be for my sister and the person just didn't put Charlene's name on it. But no, they were for me. They were Valentine's cards for me. So I feel so guilty because of everything that's been going on. I haven't had a chance to send out all the stuff that I wanted to. I wanted to send out a whole bunch of Valentine's gifts. I wanted to send out a whole bunch of 1,000 subscriber, yay, hooray gifts. Um, I got to send out one. <laughs> that was to Sandy at Left is Right Crochet. So I may end up doing that a little bit later. Whoa, dizzy. I may end up doing that a little bit later. Um, yeah, because, you know, <laughs> all the things. Anyways, let's get on to these pretty cards. This one is from Natalie, Natalie's Closet. <clears throat> Actually, it's Natalie and her puppy, Miley. Yeah. And it's from UNICEF. Go Natalie. Um, it's got like a whole big thing in here. So it just says thanks for everything. And, uh, and then she put in a personal message in here for me. So thank you, Natalie. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love yes. That was so sweet. Um, then I got... This one's from Petra from Petra's Happy Place. I make sure I get the right Petra this time. <laughs> Look at all that. God, I remember how many, I don't even remember how many of those I ate when I was a kid. It's like crazy. She also sent a big heart. I mean, look at all this. Like it, I read this and bawled like a baby. Like I, it was just so, so heartwarming. Thank you so much, Petra. I, I, I feel the same. I really do. Um, yeah. Okay, not gonna cry. It was very, very sweet. More than sweet. Yeah, it was just, oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, next card was um, Nancy from Nan's Next Knots. That is really hard to say, by the way. Like, really hard to say. Okay. Uh, isn't that pretty? It says, this Valentine's is very simple. But it's comes straight from the heart. Best wishes and many prayers for you and your family. May you have much sweetness this Valentine's Day. I actually did. George came home yesterday and brought me flowers for the first time in a long time. Um, we don't really celebrate Valentine's Day. Um, it's just another day for us. Uh, we just find that it was, it's so commercialized and we don't want to, well, George doesn't feel the need to have to have a special day to say, I love you. Um, but he did bring me flowers. I've been really, I didn't even realize that I've been depressed lately. I guess because of everything that's been going on. But um, yeah, he brought me flowers. And I'll put a picture in now. Okay, carrying on. Um, Nancy also sent me a beautiful stitch marker. Isn't that pretty? You see that? 
It says made with love. It's so pretty. I am going to get so much use out of this. Let me tell you. Okay. Thank you, you guys. You're so sweet. Mm -hmm. I love you all. I ain't. I, I can't even, I can't even, you know, I, I just, wow. The good news. Um, I am on my way to Victoria after this video because my sister's getting her second infusion and then she's getting sent home. She is getting sent home today. Uh, she's terrified. She's absolutely terrified. Um, she just, she wanted to stay in a couple of days after the infusion just to make sure everything was okay. But I guess they feel like she's going to be fine. Well, not fine, but she's, the infusion isn't going to upset her too much because the last infusion went pretty good. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to go down there and I'm going to go down with Michelle, my niece, and I'm going to drive her home. And uh, we have to try, George is going to meet us at her house and try and get her up that 30, that's, that's flight of stairs, it's 30 stairs. Yeah. So anyway, she's still up for... She still has a very long road ahead of her. Um, did I tell you that she's lost 30 pounds in the hospital? 30 pounds. I don't remember the last time I saw my sister this thin. Um, it's, it's almost scary. Um, she, she looks kind of frail and uh she feels frail like she she's just scared so so scared to to go home and uh but the thing is it's like she's gonna have like dan's um dan's gonna be working but michelle is gonna be there <clears throat> then when michelle's not there i'm gonna be there until we can get her to the point where she feels comfortable enough to be able to do things on her own uh so we're just gonna switch off um, so it's, it's going to be tough on everybody, but we are family and we are going to get through this together. So, yes. And everything that you guys have been doing, everything that you've been sending, everything that you've, all your comments, all your cards, everything is just, uh, I think it's going to hit her once she's home and she can get on the computer and she can see for herself. She has no idea the outpour of love that has come her way. She has some idea, but she's she doesn't have the whole magnitude of it, of it all. She actually just got her first fan mail yesterday from um, Charmed Grammy. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I didn't open it. I'm going to let her open it. I'm going to give it to her today. And, uh, and I'm going to go to the mailbox again before I go out of town. And hopefully there's something else in there for her. So, and hopefully today Dan got the day off. So I'm hoping that he went and bought her flowers and a, you know, welcome home thing and some balloons and stuff like that. I gave him a whole laundry list of stuff to, to do. So hopefully he does it. <laughs> so anyway, so I am off. I will let you guys know how it went. And we will talk to you later. See ya. Hi, everybody. I'm back. Oh. Um, sorry, there's TV in the background. George is watching TV. It's like 8 o'clock at night. I just got home. <sighs> We got Charlene home okay. Um, the stairs were a bit of trial, <laughs> trial and error, uh, but she did did pretty good. Uh, it was a lot of stairs for her to go up. She had to take breaks and 
and stuff like that but she did it now she's sitting at home on the couch relaxing and she's got her husband Dan with her and her her daughter Michelle and she's getting spoiled like crazy <laughs> so we walked into um, her husband had made a sign for her uh, welcome home sign and uh, some roses and some chocolates and he went and made a little sign that sits beside her computer that says Char and Dan and uh, it was so sweet it was so sweet so she's so happy to be home it was she was so scared she didn't know what to expect I think those stairs were scaring the hell out of her but now that she's got that out of the way um, she had her treatment today and it, it really knocked her for a loop <coughs> um, and so the stairs we weren't sure <laughs> it was, but she did it uh, but then she couldn't even get herself off up and uh, down and off you know. uh, she couldn't get herself on and off the toilet afterwards because she was so weak so it really took a lot out of her and she's probably gonna sleep like a baby tonight so but anyways, I just wanted to give you guys the update. Um, and, oh, we got some more happy mail. I couldn't show it to you, though, because it was for Charlene. Um, oh, and I can't even remember who the heck it was from now. Ah, crap. I'm going to have to ask Charlene. Darn it. But I do know one. Hold on. So when I went to the mailbox, I got this big box in the mail. Um, it had a gift for my sister. Uh, there was hearts in it. Uh, it was just beautiful. She was like, oh. <laughs> um, it's from Karen Yorty. And I got some presents too but I got a card of course I need my glasses for this there you go and it says what lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us and it's from Karen Y um, so stay positive and strong, even when it feels like everything in your life is falling apart, your efforts will soon be rewarded. Thinking of you and your family during this difficult time, sending you big hugs and prayers. Thank you so much, Karen. Like, this is just, a, I, I opened it and I was just like, ah! I was just so freaking thrilled. <laughs> Here, let me put the light on here. Um, ooh, that's bright. Uh, okay, there we go. I was just like, ah! <laughs> she sent me, I love this yarn! Yay! <laughs> and she sent me, like, a lot of it. <laughs> This was one of the yarns that I was saying that I wanted to try and it's called print and this is like a freaking phenomenal color look oh look at that how gorgeous is that and I got three four I got five of them five <laughs> And then I saw this and I was just like over the moon, over the moon happy. It's Yarn Be Soft and Sleek. This is another one that I wanted to try. And this colorway, it, or this color is, where is it? Mix, uh, berry Mix. Oh. So pretty. Isn't that so pretty? 
And I got two of the two, three. I got three of these. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I guess I should tell you the colorway of this one. This is called Jazzed Stripes. I love it. And then she sent me the Yarn Bee Alpaca Twist. And this is called Linen. Isn't it gorgeous? And she sent me one, two, three, four, five of these. I have yarn bee. I have elf, I have yarn bee and I have I love this yarn. <laughs> I get so giddy when those two brands come into this house because I if I could be down in the states I would buy all of it, right? Especially the yarn bee. It would be like, yeah, okay, just take my money. <laughs> Cuz I just absolutely love it like you guys have so many yarns that we don't have you know and i know that some of them like this would probably be comparable to um red heart it's not like super saver though it's so soft it's soft like really nice and soft squishy so um yeah Thank you so much, Karen. So, 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 so much. I am so happy. And I can't wait to use it. I'm trying really hard to get Sandy from Left is Right's blanket done. <sighs> hey, do you guys want to see it? Okay, so. For those of you that don't know or those of you that are new, Sandy from Left is Right Crochet go check out her channel. I will put that down below. We are doing a swap kind of thing uh, where she came up with this idea called an adventure blanket. And you take a dice, you pick six colors, and then you pick six different types of stitches. And then <clears throat> you write another column one to six. And so you take a dice, a game dice, and you roll it first number is your color, the first num the second number is your stitch, and the third number is how many of that row you're going to do, or how many of that stitch and color you're going to do. <clears throat> so, I tried. I tried, and it didn't seem to matter what I did. It just all came out all hit crappy, and it was awful. So, I decided, in my infinite wisdom, to try um, a kaleidoscope blanket. Oh no! Uh, if I can't handle doing like different kinds of stitches, how in the hell am I gonna do a kaleidoscope blanket? Well, I did it. I did some of it. <sighs> I did what it's gonna be the middle of the blanket and then the rest of the blanket's going to be all granny square. So, here it is. Uh, can you see that? There. So, this is going to be the middle of the blanket. And then the rest of the blanket is going to be all of these colors just in different stripes going all the way around. So, Th these triangles were, <sighs> I can't do any more of these triangles because I'll commit Harry Carey, I swear to God. So um, I'm leaving it at that. <clears throat> and now I've just got to finish the rest of the blanket. So what I'm thinking about doing, because it, the yarn is so light, um, I am going to uh, probably put a backing on it. I'm going to have to get my friend to help me with that because I don't know how to do that. <laughs> so just to make it a little bit thicker, I think. I don't know. I'll see how it goes. I don't know. It just seems like it's really light and airy. It's good for like spring and summer, I guess, but not for winter or anything. So <clears throat> I thought it would be good 
for her when she's sitting on her chair, right? She's doing lives and stuff like that. And she can have that over her legs. So the dogs might take it over, but you know, we love our dogs. <laughs> Anyways, so there you have it. Uh, so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for all of this. It's just, oh, I just love it so, so much. And uh, I will find out who, I want to say alpaca my yarn, mm, I think. I have to find out. <laughs> but she got uh, two or three cards and she got a, a gift from in this package as well. Um, oh, for her hearts and angels that she's getting because we thought that she was going into the cancer clinic and she didn't uh, and I was going to put the garland up with all the stuff and now she's at home <laughs> what she wants to do with them is make a blanket I thought wow okay so when she gets better or she can get to the point where she can function uh, quite well then she's going to put all of these hearts and everything on like a quilted blanket. She's going to sew them all on. I think that's brilliant. So anyways, that's just wonderful. Wonderful. So I'll give her something to do while she's healing as well. So I have a few things for her to do too for Stitch Fest. So because I really need help. <laughs> Oh, it's so much work, so little time. Anyways, um, okay, I'm going to go, guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And uh, thank you for all, everything you're doing for my sister. It's just, you should have seen her light up when she got that stuff. It was, granted, she was really drugged up at the time. But, <laughs> you know, she, uh, she says, wow, I guess I better get more thank you cards. <laughs> So I said, see, you've got fan mail. <laughs> so, so yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go. I'm so tired. I'm going to go and see if I can do some more on this blanket. Okay. I love you guys. Mwah.